guys welcome back to my channel so i decided against filming um thanksgiving and black friday which is i took the time to just really spend time with my family um just because i don't get to see my chicago family that often some of them i do some of them i don't so i try every time i'm here i kind of try to do as much as i can with them um so i didn't record anything uh I'm recording now to just kind of give y'all like a rundown of things. So Thanksgiving was delicious, okay? Um, and it was my son's first time meeting his aunties that live here in Chicago. Um, he's met all of his other aunties. Um, I'm sorry, great aunties. Um, and so he's just been like getting to know them, playing with them, you know, having a good time. So, love that for him. Um, like I said, Thanksgiving was delicious. Um, all of my auntie's kids were here um, with their kids. So, it was really big. We had fun. We drank. We ate. We played card games. It's just kind of like our usual thing that, that we do when we get together. Um, I probably won't see a lot of them for a good little minute. Um, I don't think, I know we have a family reunion next, next year, um, but I don't think everyone's going to be coming. I know my aunts will be there, but, and maybe like one or two of their kids. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so, um, yeah, Thanksgiving, we really just drank and had a good time and talked and caught up with everybody because a lot of them I haven't seen since before my pregnancy um so you know and it's been a little over a year since I've seen a lot of them so it was nice to spend time with them um let's see yesterday Black Friday um it was really chill my auntie came over um to where we're staying at and just kind of spent the day with us um we ate at portillo's which i got a phenomenal cheeseburger like i don't think i've ever had a cheeseburger that was that delicious so i was very very content um my son has been eating a crap ton of sweet potatoes i think sweet potatoes are his favorite now which is okay you know um my mom and I went halves, halfsies on um, getting some books, some sticker books from Mojo Plans. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I think she also did Kel of a Plan, but I'm not sure. I got to ask her. I think she did. She sent me like a summarization of how much I'm going to have to send her for both, um, which is about $50 because I think they uh, both did like um half off or whatever and it doesn't include shipping so um I think I owe her about $50 which is not bad because like I think one of Mojo's books is like $30 so t I think I got like three books from her can't remember but very excited about it can't wait to use them next year I will do a flip through when I get them um I've also placed a couple of more orders for from Timu. I did finally win um, my farmland game. So I have those prizes, or I finally won it again because I won it once. But I have the prizes coming from that, so I'm very excited. Um, as well as a couple of more orders that are arriving. Um, I got a few Christmas decorations and things of that sort, but y'all will see that in the next video that I do. Um, I do have a Timu, um, video that I recorded for y'all before I left from Chicago because it arrived earlier than what I thought it would. So I went ahead and recorded that video for y'all. So I will upload, I will edit that and upload that for y'all today, but y'all won't have access to it until Monday. Um, just because I don't want to overwhelm myself with trying to get a video for y'all today and Monday. So that will be Monday's video. Um, today I think um 
one of my cousins that I really consider like a sister to me um, and another one of my cousins. I think we're going to go out to the bar um, a little later. I'm not sure how much later. Um, my dad is claiming that we're going to leave early again. Um, but as y'all remember, we didn't leave until like eight o'clock last time um, for coming up here. So I don't know. We'll see what time we actually leave. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had a great time. It is like 30 degrees here, so it's, it's pretty chilly. Um, I'm hoping that it snows a little bit tonight so that my son can see it. Um, cause he, you know, I don't know when he'll ever see snow again. Um, so I'm hoping that we get a little bit tonight so that he can see it. Um, my brother is going to be going back to school today. Um, I know he said he was going to go see, um, a friend of his that lives about 30 minutes away from here, um, before or after he leaves from us. And then, um, he's going to spend time with his friend before going back to school from there. So I won't see my brother for another two weeks, which in all reality does is not that far away, but it seems like it is. Um, me and my brother are five years apart, so, um, we're very close. We talk to each other about everything. Um, he was actually like the first person in our immediate family that knew I was pregnant, um, that I told that I was pregnant. So, um, seeing him and his nephew together and they, my nephew is just lighting up every time he sees him. So it's, it's nice, you know, so I'm going to miss him for the next two weeks, but, um, it'd be great once we're back home and, you know, all the big family again with our little addition. Um, I've been getting like a sit with a status report of my, my other son, my dog. Um, he's doing fine. His, his G-ma, as she likes to call herself, <laughs> God mama. Um, she is, she gave him a bath. And I believe he had his own little fixings for Thanksgiving. Um, so he's really getting pampered. So I'm, I told her, I said, I don't think he's going to want to come home now because you have seriously spoiled him. He hasn't gotten that much spoiling since before my son was born. So it's very difficult for me to be around my dog and my son um simultaneously just because my son does have some skin issues and I don't and I, my dog also has skin issues so um I just he does have a vet appointment um Saturday next Saturday so hopefully we can get some answers he needs to get like his shots and all that stuff um we do like bring my son around my dog um not too often because he does get really excited um and he knows like with certain people like he can't jump around and all that stuff but he's also still a puppy you know so he he just wants to play all the time and sometimes it's not okay you know so we're working on it it's it's a slow conditioning process but he's slowly understanding it um oh let's see so yeah, I'm supposed to go to the bar tonight or later today. I really don't know. I'm waiting for her to text me. It's still fairly early. I think it's eight o'clock, maybe nine o'clock now. So yeah, um, I've been up since 6.30. Um, I've gotten my clothes together. I pulled out what I'm wearing today and I pulled out what my son's gonna wear today. And I've also pulled out like our ride home outfits for tomorrow. Um, I gotta get my son a wash up when he wakes up from his nap. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of trying to have everything together before the end of the night. Obviously, night clothes will be like the last thing to be packed, but. Um, yeah, I'm just trying not to do too much or packing wise because, you know, with an infant, um, you never know. Um, my dad and I, last night, we went to go pick up the food 
but I also had to run into Target because I didn't pack enough formula. So we were running out of formula and they didn't have the can formula. So I had to get like the little liquid stuff. And, you know, we were checking out or trying to go check out. We were going to use the self checkout because it, the lines were ridiculously long, you know, Black Friday shopping, which it's been a minute since I've been in the store to Black Friday shop. So we, um, we go in the store, we're trying to purchase and we're trying to use self checkout. I pull up my target barcode or whatever, cause it's saying that you need to do that. And I scan it and you know, it wasn't letting me. And the lady that was behind us ringing people out, she was like, oh, they're closed. I'm like, what? Like, why would you have the self checkouts closed? on black friday like i get that you're trying to like stop people from stealing but when i tell you they had like 15 people there that were asset protection i'm not kidding and so i'm like i didn't understand it i was like uh what so you mean to tell me we gotta wait in this line and so like we me and my dad were both equally frustrated because we're like this makes no sense and so um, we're waiting, we're waiting, and then this, luckily, this lady, um, opened up her, her line, because she could see, like, the lines were getting long, um, so we were able to, like, jump over there and check out, but it was crazy how many actual employees, like, in the red were just standing around talking, not doing anything, when they could have been on register, so, like, that was something that irked both me and my dad, um, I don't know what it is about this time of the year, but it's like employees don't want to work or at least you know my generation like they're just like eh, I don't need this job like and it's crazy because you got people like me that would gladly take that job so it's just it's crazy in my opinion um yeah and my dad said like he ran into like almost the same issue um at the place where we got our food from like, the people were just standing around talking. My dad was there to pick up our food. And, like, apparently, like, they ducked behind a wall so that they didn't have to help my dad, which was crazy. Like, we just want our food. You might not want to do your job, but you're here, so you need to do it. You know? It was just really weird. Very, very strange. Very strange. Sorry, y'all. I'm changing my contacts. I was dumb enough to forget my glasses so <sighs> gotta stick with the contacts um but yeah it was just really weird i didn't understand it i still don't understand it i don't know why you would choose to work in you know customer service and then be horrible at customer service like you have one job, literally. Like, it's not that hard to be good in customer service. But I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't, I don't get it. I worked in customer service my whole life almost. Like, my whole adulthood, I've worked in customer service. I, I don't get it. But I guess it's not for me to understand. So, yeah. Um... I'm definitely ready to go home though. I miss my bed. You know, it's, you know, when you're away and out of town, sleeping in a different bed is like, it's rough, you know? And my bed at home is super fluffy. You know, I got pillows, extra pillows, the right amount of covers, like, and I brought a blanket, you know, cause I was like, I'm gonna try to make it as homey as possible, but you know, you can only do that to a certain extent. Um, in the room that me and my son are sleeping in, there's a full-size bed. We're used to a queen. Um, and my my son is really used to his bed now because he's been sleeping in his own. So it, it's been a rough couple of nights, but it's okay. I mean, we've tried to get as much decent sleep as we can. Um, you know, you can only do so much, but... 
we're working on it so yeah that's really like what's going on um i'll show you all the room sorry the bed isn't made up but this is what we got going on i'm packing my son's suitcase these are the clothes that he's gonna wear today my suitcase is over there on the floor um so yeah it's kind of a mess in here but I might do like a little quick time lapse to just show y'all me packing everything. I am going to do like a little travel back mini vlog. It's not gonna be the full thing, but I'm gonna try to do better, okay? Um, so yeah, that's really like all that I have for you at this very moment. So I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Burger. I, uh, my dad said we're like a few minutes outside of Louisville, so we decided that we were gonna come in and eat because it is raining. Um, it would just be safer for us to eat, you know, inside instead of trying to eat and drive at the same time. So we're here. Little man is asleep. Um, my parents are ordering everything. Um, it's about 46 degrees, um, so it's not cold or anything like that, uh, or too cold, I should say. Um, so yeah, we're almost to Kentucky, so that's nice. Um, I did fall asleep um, for a little while, and my son woke up, I fed him, um, and we stopped to get gas. And we stopped to do like a restroom break, so this would be our third stop of the trip. So I'm just, I'm happy we're headed home. I'm ready to sleep in my own bed. Um, so yeah, that's the update. It's really chic inside of here. We'll see how the burgers taste, but we're all just hungry, so we'll see. First off, we've made it home safe and sound. Um, feels good to be back in my bed. Um, my son's in his, so it just it's really nice to be home, you know. There's no place like home. Um, so I did kind of want to talk about what happened um, Saturday night. So I went out with uh, two of my cousins and um, we went to this like pub grill place called Chugalug in Chicago and it was fun they had a DJ um it was very loud and I mean I enjoyed myself I'm a people watcher so I was watching a lot of people while we were sitting down drinking and having our little um appetizers um I, while being there, even though I had fun and I enjoyed myself, it made me realize how much I've matured. Um, because, like, the old me, I would have been up dancing, like, getting endless drinks, like, you know, having a good time. 
Um, and it really just made me realize that I'm just not in that, um, in that mindset anymore. I don't know if it's motherhood or what it is, but um, even though I enjoyed myself, it's definitely something that I couldn't do like on a regular basis. But it was nice to get out with my cousins and, you know, do things with them. Um, so that was nice. Um, I think we got back like around 12, 1230. My parents had my son, so um, I, um, he slept with them. I had went in there when I got back to see if he was up and I was just gonna get him if he was, but my mom said that he had just went back to sleep. So I was like, I told her that, you know, to just bring him to me when he woke up. And I guess he slept through the night um, or at least until 6.30ish, cause that's when he came to me. Um, so not a big deal. I was getting up anyways. Um, let's see. So yeah, about 6.30ish this morning is when I woke up. So Sunday, um, it was, I, I wasn't hung over or anything. I think I was just kind of like tired cause you know, I'm not, I don't go out like that. So I was a little drained, um, but that didn't stop me from, you know, getting things done. So when I woke up, I um, I got all of our stuff packed up. For the most part, everything was already packed up. Um, I tried to make sure that I did that on Saturday, um, just so that it was um, easier, you know, to get everything together so Sunday morning to leave. So I finished getting everything ready. My dad grabbed stuff and put stuff in the car. Um, it started snowing, so my son did get to see some snow before we left, which I was very excited about. Um, he didn't seem amused, but I was happy. Um, my mom did take pictures of us, so I'm very happy about that, and I'm very happy that I was able to get that. Um, because I don't know when he'll ever see snow again. Um, and I'm happy it was happening when we were leaving, because I'm not a fan of snow, okay? After dealing with it for 10 years, I just wasn't, no no um so we got on the road about 8 30 ish everybody you know everyone needed to get dressed and finish putting their last things in the suitcase and saying their goodbyes and stuff um i still had leftovers from when we went to lunch um during the day on saturday so i heated that up and had that for breakfast um my dad stopped at um uh dunkin donuts and i think that was the first real cup of coffee <laughs> that i had since tuesday so i did have like a little headache like all weekend but it was like minor it wasn't like extreme um but it was nice to enjoy that cup of coffee um my son slept for the most part, um, or for like the better half of the uh, ride, but he did wake up. Um, we made some stops for gas. I remember we stopped at one gas station to get gas and then like, I guess the pump made you go inside or something like that to go pay which is really it was at a loves gas station so like it's a travel gas station with like the truckers pulling in and everything and like they were making people go inside to pay and um you know it was just like mm, it just my dad wasn't having it because he's like if i pay more than what i need you know then i gotta come back in here and get a receipt and he just it, it's unnecessary in my opinion i prefer to go inside and pay um because I always just do a flat amount because I kind of know what my car can take but I think my dad was just topping off so he didn't know like how much it was going to be um so I understood it um in um when we did find a gas station to fill up at he filled up and then their restrooms were out of order like I was so upset. I was like, how are your restrooms out of order? 
um, but okay. Um, so we had to go across the street to another gas station and just use the bathroom. Um, and I needed to change my son, so it was just a lot. Um, then the rest of the ride was really smooth sailing. I think we were like right outside of Louisville um, when we decided to stop and get something to eat. It was raining for most of the ride, um, so when we had stopped and tried to decide what we wanted to eat, I um, mentioned that it would be safer for us to stop and sit down and eat. Usually we'll just get what we want to eat and just drive, but given how it was raining and pe you know people don't know how to drive in the rain so i just thought it would be safer if we sat down and eat um so that we did that and then we got back on the road and we're just driving again um i believe we made one more stop in tennessee to fill up um and you know rest would break um we ended up changing my son in the car um it was just really simple um nothing too crazy um let's see and then like kind of like for the last hour hour and a half my son was really cranky um i tried turning on mickey and the roads to racers on my phone he, he was okay for a little while but it just wasn't cutting it so um yeah the last hour and a half was rough but we finally made it home when we got home um me and my mom both had like two packages a piece i think she had one from live love posh which is like um a lady that does stickers for planners and um timu and then i had two orders from timu so um I'll be doing those videos. I'll record them tomorrow, but they probably won't get posted until Wednesday. Um, one, one item won't be put into that video because I'm waiting on the rest of that order to come in because they shipped it to, through two different uh, carriers. So that's how that's going to go. Um, so, yeah but we've made it home it's almost 11 o'clock um i think we're all just really happy to be home and back in our beds i did enjoy myself um being out with the fam or you know spending time with my family um and i definitely needed just like a little vacation per se um so it was nice to just you know get away be with the family be with the people that i love um so yeah that is how that went we'll get back to our regular schedule content um until after christmas i believe we are going out of town after christmas so that'll be another travel vlog coming um and then i have a few things planned for like you know bringing in the new year so we'll see how that goes um so yeah, thanks for coming on my little road trip with me. Um, if you're not already, I'm sorry y'all, I had a mind blank just then. If you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. Make sure you're also following me on all forms of social media. And until next time, bye guys.